Okay, um, we have set this up in the earlier uh, video and what we want to do now is just to start off the virtual machine. You can start them off all together. So let's install this first because that's the master node. Okay, don't worry about these things. Okay, it's just loading up Ubuntu 13.10. It's a little while to boot up, but here it is. Okay, um, you could be installing 12.04 or earlier version, and they all work the same way. As long as your SSH is set up properly without a password, you know, and all the nodes are talking together, MP MPS MPISH will work. But here goes, this is the installation. So I will download the updates. Um, continue. Erase the entire disk. Install now. Um, set it as London, UK, keyboard layout. I'm going to name this Eugene. So you usually do Ubuntu Master. Okay, some people will name it U0. Okay, but that's my preference. Um, I'm going to set a password. A very weak password. Require my password to log in. I will encrypt the home folder and bring it forward. Okay, it does take a while. Right, I'm not going to lock in. I will lock in later. Okay, so it's going to install. And it's copying files at the moment. I can expand that and see the terminal. I will just let it install and then come back later when that's the next step so we save some time on the video. Okay, maybe we'll do this. Um, whilst this is installing, we can actually get Ubuntu Slave A to be installed. So let's start this. Just to save time and this is much easier so we just have to press install and close the notification bars okay and um, it's English did I just right okay um, don't detect keyboard layout uh, I'm actually gonna go back because I said like English UK English UK um, Ethernet 0 is for the internet, Ethernet 1 is the local area network that connects to the other nodes. Okay. I will name this slave um, A. That's the host name. Let's continue. Um, United Kingdom so GB uh, that was the previous step was was GB archive okay leave that as default and let it download the release files okay the, obviously the mini version installs much quicker than the full GUI version Okay, we'll let it load. Okay, well, it's asking for the users and passwords. I will put in my name 
and also a name for the account. Um, the because of the virtual machines, I'm sending enter and it's sending it twice. Pick the same password from the master, doesn't matter, and retype that. Um, that's okay. We'll keep it as a weak password. We want to encrypt the home directory. And time zone will set it as yes. Okay, and we'll let it continue. So the installation for the master is complete and we will restart. Okay. So just let it restart and then come back to the slave A. And we have the guide and use entire disk. We'll use that. And let it continue. Yes, we will write the changes to this for the following partitions, formatting, and device changes. Press yes. Okay, it will continue. And now the on the master virtual machine, come up from the slave. On the master virtual machine, it's asking you to press enter. Right, on the virtual machine, sometimes you cannot get out of the uh, the virtual machine using the control the right control key because Mac doesn't have a right control key. What should you do? Well for me I'll go to the virtual um, uh, file uh, virtual machine file preference and input. I will change the virtual machine tabs host key combination to Alter, right alternate okay and hopefully that will bring me out from the virtual machine so if I click click here um, let's see what other settings I have okay okay it is the same right okay that's not it so if I click in and press alternate it will bring me out okay so my mouse uh, uh, icon could come out from the virtual machine if I click it again press alternate and it comes out. And that's settings from the file preference for Mac users. Okay, for Windows users, well, just the right control key. So this has installed, um, the media is installed. Okay, actually the master doesn't really matter. I'm just press enter and let it reboot. Coming back to the mini installer, we install security updates automatically. Okay, whilst waiting for boot up from the Ubuntu master. Um, not really your present. Okay, well, it's rebooting normally now. Okay, so. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna log in for the first time. Okay, and the master is set up properly. Okay, you should see the GUI anytime now. Okay, and that's it. Right. So coming back to the Ubuntu slave, I will put in basic Ubuntu server, open the SH server, DNS um that's the virtual machines keyboard entry because I'm running it through a remote desktop press enter selecting those first three and it will continue the installation now any steps um, taken here in Ubuntu slave A can be repeated in Ubuntu slave B and C the other way is to after installing Slave A, clone them, but then you've got to change the the user and name. So I'd rather, you know, as a simple step, just install all three of them. You can actually run these two in parallel. And I've done that before. I mean, all three installing together, and it works properly. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to close that. So we shall wait for. Ubuntu Slave A to finish in the installation. And after this step, I'll show you in a video how to get the four nodes to talk to one another without a password. So using SSH without a password, and we'll set it up in another video. 
Right, 88%, not very long now. Before we've got our first slave note running. Okay, 97%. Okay, this shouldn't take a long time. Um, install the grab bootloader, yes. Okay, press yes. And it should be default yes all the way. Okay, I just click continue and let it boot. Right, and it's going to come back to the mini CD installation, which means that we, unlike the Ubuntu master, we have to remove the disk from the virtual drive. Okay, and I'm going to go reset. So you can see this message again, reset. And now it will boot into the terminal without a GUI like the master because we don't really need that here as we'll be using the NFS to share files across the network so we don't actually need to touch the slave machine after it has been set up properly with MPICH. So when it says slave, oh gosh, let me just remove this. First login, it's the same password and username. It doesn't really matter between the nodes. Okay, so we have logged in for the first time. And that's the end of the video. Um, I'm going to make another video showing you how to set up SSH and, and let the four nodes talk to each other. So stay tuned. And if you like my video, like, comment, share, and give suggestions. Thank you, Phil. Thank you for watching.